Have you ever pondered the controversy that surrounds milk? It's a tale that begins with the dawn of human civilization. Just like every other mammal, our journey in life begins with the consumption of milk, a cocktail rich in fats, vitamins, minerals, lactose, and immunity-boosting antibodies and proteins. But as we grow, we begin to transition from our mother's milk to a diet that our parents provide. Approximately 11,000 years ago, our ancestors made a game-changing move. They began domesticating dairy animals such as goats, sheep, and cattle. This not only turned abundant resources into nutritious food, but also provided a significant survival advantage. Over time, genetic adaptations emerged in these milk-consuming communities, particularly concerning lactase, the enzyme that breaks down lactose. As we evolved, so did our consumption and use of milk, leading us to the present-day controversies. Now, let's dive into the heart of the milk debate, its health effects. Milk's health impacts have been a hot topic, drumming up a storm of controversy. You've probably heard about the potential links between milk and a host of health issues, from cancer to allergies. But what does the science actually say? Well, when it comes to cancer, recent studies have given milk a clean bill of health. Moderate milk consumption, it seems, doesn't significantly increase your risk. The same goes for heart disease and overall mortality rates. In these areas, milk appears to be in the clear. However, the picture isn't so straightforward when we turn our attention to bone health. This is a field where the research shows mixed results. Some studies suggest that milk can strengthen our bones, while others hint at little to no benefit. So the jury's still out on this one. But what about the hormone, pesticide, and antibiotic levels in milk? After all, we've all heard the concerns. The good news is that these are regulated globally. Standards are in place to ensure that the levels of these substances in our milk are kept within safe limits. As a result, they pose little concern to the average milk drinker. Despite these positives, milk isn't without its downsides. For one, it's been known to cause acne, an issue that can be a source of discomfort for many people. Then, there's the elephant in the room, lactose intolerance. Here, milk can definitely cause discomfort, with symptoms ranging from bloating to diarrhea. While milk is nutrient-rich and beneficial in undernourished regions, it can also cause discomfort, especially in lactose intolerant individuals. It's a double-edged sword, offering a rich source of nutrients on one hand, but potential discomfort on the other. And that, in a nutshell, encapsulates the health effects of milk. The milk story doesn't end with health effects though. What about the environmental impact and the alternatives? Let's delve into the impact of the dairy industry on our environment. The industry has a significant carbon footprint. It contributes to greenhouse gas emissions through the production of feed for dairy animals, their digestion process, and waste management. It's an undeniable fact that as our demand for dairy products rises, so too does the strain on our planet. But there's hope. Enter plant-based milks. These alternatives, such as soy, almond, and oat milk, provide similar nutritional benefits to dairy milk, but with a smaller environmental footprint. For instance, soy milk is a good source of protein and contains less saturated fat than dairy milk. Almond milk, on the other hand, is low in calories and sugar, and oat milk is rich in fiber and iron. The production of these plant-based milks requires less water and land than dairy milk. They also produce fewer greenhouse gases. However, it's important to note that not all plant-based milks are created equal. For example, almond milk requires a significant amount of water to produce, and the majority of almonds are grown in California, a region troubled by water scarcity. So, while these alternatives are more sustainable than dairy milk, they still have environmental costs that need to be considered. But don't despair just yet. There's another alternative on the horizon, lab-grown milk. This milk is produced using yeast and sugar, mimicking the proteins found in cow's milk without involving any animals. It's still in the early stages of development, but it presents a potentially sustainable and ethical option for the future. In conclusion, the milk debate is more complex than just considering its nutritional value. It's a balancing act between nutrition, environmental impact, and ethical concerns. We need to consider not just what we put into our bodies, but also how it affects the world around us. The milk debate is not just about its nutritional value, but also its environmental impact and ethical concerns. So, what have we learned about the controversy surrounding milk? We've journeyed from the dawn of milk consumption, traced through its controversial health impacts, and touched upon its environmental footprint. We've seen how milk, once a survival boon, now sparks debates around health and sustainability. 
We've also explored alternatives like plant-based and lab-grown milks that may shape our future. The controversy surrounding milk is as complex as its history, but one thing is clear. There's a lot more to milk than meets the eye. 